Community groups in Vancouver's downtown east side are once again speaking out against a plan to build high-rise towers in their neighborhood. City Hall has been looking at lifting height restrictions in Chinatown for the past few years, allowing buildings there as high as 15 stories. But as Tanya Beja reports, residents and business owners say that type of development will have a negative impact. They're the markets and small businesses that bring life to Chinatown. But the people who shop here and live in the neighborhood say the city's plan to allow for taller buildings could put it all at risk. We are outraged the city is trying to change Chinatown without involving or consulting low-income residents that live in Chinatown. On Thursday, City Hall will host its first public hearing on rezoning proposals that would allow for 12-story towers to be built in Chinatown. That's up from the current nine-story limit. And in some areas along Main Street, the height of new condos could reach 15 floors. But people living in the area worry new development could push up rent prices and force some of Chinatown's poorest residents out. <laughs> It's all they want is they want a better plan and they want like a detailed study or at least the government have plans to buy lands to build more social housing before they carry out the plan of building high towers. And they feel that right now the government is cheating them um, by not consult any of the low-income residents in the Chinatown neighborhood. Social housing advocates say two-thirds of Chinatown's residents are low income and depend on cheap groceries at Chinese markets. Their fear is that new condos could make it unaffordable for small businesses to stay. This is going to cost, increase the choices of whether or not you feed your children or whether or not you pay your rent. And this is going to be one of the major impacts. These little, the little stores are not only shopped in by the Chinatown residents, the entire community shops in these cheap healthy food stores. Dozens of business owners and community activists are expected to voice their concerns to City Council at the public hearing Thursday evening. I want to introduce Mr.